Bill Sweetman, Defense Technology International. Uh, we've been hearing a lot about uh, um, contract negotiations on the fourth element batch, and uh, the term fixed price has been used quite a bit. Um, I'd like to go into that because uh, my understanding is at this stage this will not be firm fixed price, but will be fixed price incentive. Um, and could you give us an idea of how much greater the ceiling price will be over the target price, um, and how the differential, you know, if there is an overrun, um, what's the incentive ratio? How does that any overrun um, get divided between government and uh, uh, Lockheed Martin? And if you can't talk about that at the time, can you commit to saying that when that contract signed, you will provide us with those details? Okay, Bill. Um, let me say that uh, the, the acquisition program on record had us going through a fixed price type contract at Elrim 6. Okay, that's been brought forward to Elrim 4, the fourth production lot, where we submitted a proposal in October last year that was cost plus as the acquisition plan called for. In the intervening time, with all the dis debate and discussion on costs, despite the fact that we're tracking through an aggressive cost curve, we felt that our CEO felt it would be uh, a good, strong signal to send to take that fourth production lot under a fixed price type contract. This fixed price incentive will be transitioning to firm fixed price by R of six. I don't know of any program that's ever gone from cost plus to firm fixed price in one step. It just doesn't happen that way. Uh, this lot is also the first production lot where we have CV configured airplanes in that lot. There's four of those in that lot. So, so we have a first of type in that production lot also. Uh, we are on track to close that. I checked on it this morning. Uh, there is an ongoing uh, negotiation that has been protracted somewhat because of this change in contract type and because of the of the very low, you know, we're negotiating uh, well well in excess of 20 to 20% 20 below where the government estimates put the projected the cost of the program to be. So as we go through those negotiations, we expect to finalize them, you know, any day now. Uh, we're getting very close to the end game. Um, I saw Mr. Van Buren last night at the dinner I was at. The government team is all armed to go try to close this as quickly as we can. In the interim, I don't have the specifics of what you asked for because that's part of the negotiation. But the ceiling price, I do know that the ceiling price, not the target price, but the ceiling price is still below where the government projections were for the program. We actually are coming down a fairly continuous cost curve. We have cut in half the price of the airplane over the first three lots. We're continuing to improve that position to the projections that we made for the program a while back. So I think as soon as the settlement is announced, the terms and conditions of the geometry of the contract will be announced also. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.